Yo, what's up, sexy Samlander squad? We're starting in this screen because, as you can see here, I said, play your most try hard god. The reason I'm asking to play his most try hard god is because Artemis got really buffed. She got movement speed on her two, she got a uh, cooldown reduction on her one, she got extra uh, cooldown on her two as well. So, like, more movement speed and less cooldown. So she can peel a lot. Artemis. And I think she's going to be really strong because it's going to be it's going to be the two that you can use more often and have more kiting potential with the one which you can use more often to, to help CC and, and self peel. And you're going to be able to combine those with the mannequin scepter and um, the and the no boots build, which is really just going to give you a lot more damage early game. So you can build straight into devos if you want and not sacrifice that move speed. And I think this is going to help her a lot, like just a whole lot. So you can see here, move speed is 25%. And the cooldown actually goes down a lot uh, from these two things. So it's going to be, it's going to be pretty interesting. She's, I, I guess the best way to say it is she's not an easy kill anymore. You really have to outplay and out position in order to kill her now. No. Because she used to be just super easy to kill. You could just walk at her and and kill her. You know, like, it wasn't very difficult. But now, I don't know, man. Mannequins is going to be doing a lot of damage. Um, The meditation is going to keep me alive much longer. I think, honestly, meditation, the new med, that is. If you're low HP and you use it like you used to use Bracer, it's a stronger Bracer. Like, it's just better than Bracer was. Ouch. There you go. First blood. I don't think the uh, the buffs actually had anything to do with that first blood. I think that was just good positioning on my end. But I I really think um, I don't know. You can do a lot. Dude, I'm doing very good right now. <laughs> I'm feeling very good right now. I don't know if it's just the matchup, because maybe the matchup is good for Artemis's, uh, like in Artemis's favor. But I feel like you can't stop me. By the way, just then I I did um I do think that the two movement speed is like really insane. I know it's only five percent, but it's five percent and it's I think it's like three seconds faster as well as the cooldown reduction that they they gave it. That's a lot. That's a lot more mobility over the course of the game. A lot more farm you can get. A lot more survivability. A lot more fighting potential with juking and. Even if you're not juking, just a lot more everything. I think it's going to be very nice. Will she be meta? I don't think so. You know, there's hunters that can just benefit more. Like, uh, for instance, AMC is still OP. On her is still going to be OP. But in terms of viability, she's definitely gone up on a tier list, you know? Like, I don't think... Uh, I don't think these buffs are like quality of life buffs. I think they actually matter a lot, which is cool. I mean, I, I, I like it. And also I have always really liked playing Artemis. I never play her because she's horrible. <laughs> I might actually play her a bit more now. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll start a series. Like maybe one one video per god, and I'll just get that god a diamond border and duel. Just because, oh my god! Imagine Kepri's video. That's gonna take so fucking long. <laughs> but gods that normally people consider weak, I could go ten and zero on them. 
on a video. That would be really fun. Because then I, I could play gods like Artemis and definitely not Thor. Fuck that guy. <laughs> but I could play gods like Artemis, who's considered like a pretty bad ADC, or Nox, who's considered a pretty bad mage, or like just like a bad character in the class. <laughs> I used med and got a lot of mana back, but it wasn't enough. I mean, I guess med gave me enough mana to use my three and my one. So I guess it was technically enough. Hmm. All right, we go back, we go back. Itemization wise, I'm gonna double stack. I think double stacking is actually not bad anymore. Reason being, because you don't need boots. So beforehand, it would be way too late in the game. If you if you wanted to double stack, it'd be just too late. But um, I mean now, what are you waiting for right? Like, you're not spending sixteen hundred gold on boots. You can spend that to get a tier two transcendence, and then very shortly after finish that transcendence so pretty nice um and actually and something's got buffed too so i can go and buy that pretty much right now i'll clear the wave and then we'll go buy trans do you ever level your boar I'm pretty sure you don't. Pretty sure you max your two. Uh, well, the boar's stun time does go up, actually. I didn't know that. Maybe you do level it. Can I sneeze? Mm. Oh. Ow. Did he get the red buff here? He did. That bastard. Well, we could always do the uh, the good old Artemis trick. Where you just bore the tower. Because, you know. If they're just going to run, then what else am I going to bore? So you bore the tower. It tanks for you, and you just take it. And if they ever run close, try to stop you, the boar just charges them. It's a pretty good strat. I'm doing a ton of damage, by the way. Like, just a shit. Like, 154 in auto? Oh my gosh. It'll just do 200 to me with his ability, but I also heal a lot. Oh, that was close. Ouch. I don't think I can get this. Oh, so close. So close. He didn't get the kill though, so we're chilling. But it was close. Um, I guess I go crit chance. No, I probably go pen. Probably go pen. I have life steal. I have damage. Now it's time for pen. And we definitely go blink because I have a lot of fun playing with blink. Your middle tower is under attack. And let's go speed buff here. Let's not go red. I don't care about red. That that I mean that Phoenix is at one HP anyway, so. Let's get some move and speed online. Help against the devil that is Vulcan. Dude, what if I just blink boar? He has beads. But didn't he just use beads? I think he did. I was wrong. He didn't. 
But we did just get his beads now. Can he instant clear? No, we cannot. I need some pen. My da I mean, my damage is definitely not bad, right? Like, I don't think anyone's going to think my damage is bad. Over 100 in auto still. Ouch. It could be better. Oh, he almost, he almost got the alt off there. The wave. I don't know, man. I don't know if Artemis is going to be the powerhouse that I want her to be. Or if it really just comes down to matchup. Because, like, there's no way I win this matchup if he's AMC, right? Or if he's on her or something. As a mage, yeah, I, I guess Artemis is a lot better against mages with the movement speed on her too, but... I don't know. I really want to call Artemis meta, but I don't think she is. I do think she's much better though. But I did just realize during this game that removing boots actually... Actually lets you double stack. Unless you get behind. But if you get behind it, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> and you just stop at one stack, right? For one stacking item. Hmm. I could go crit now. Doesn't have shell. I have a lot of power and a lot of life steal. I will have XE. This is my pen. How much attack speed does this give you? 80%? Oh, that's a, that's a lot of attack speed. Can I go Titan's Bane instead of XE then? Let's try it. And then I want to go this item, Wind Demon. So when I use my 2, I have 2.0 attack speed. If I don't use my 2, I only have 1.2, so it's really bad attack speed, but... That's okay. I hit like a truck. Boom. 279. 280. Oh, I actually hit really fucking hard. Almost 300 in auto for a not crit. Three thirty. If my passive is up, I want to blink on him. Wait. All right. That. I mean, that was definitely a good game. Man, I don't know because I want Artemis to be meta because she's so fun to play and her kick combos so well with like the boar into the one and then comboing with the two and then once they're out of the one you press your three so they're slow you can keep landing the autos or like her kit flows so well I want her to be really strong I think the buffs definitely are in the right direction they're not enough though it might be enough for conquest actually maybe not dual but conquest could be enough let me look them up let me make sure that i'm telling you guys all the right things i'm pretty sure i am but i just want to be sure um artemis where are you uh, i'm scrolling i'm scrolling lots of items lots of items Artemis. The base damage on her trap went up and the cooldown went down four seconds at level one. And you normally keep that at level one until you're like level 15 or something in the game. So that's really nice. And then 
the movement speed went up 5% and the cooldown got reduced by three per earth by two seconds. So yeah, I mean, they're pretty crazy. Why did I get DC? Doesn't matter. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think about Artemis and the buffs. Um, like I've been saying this whole video, I think it's okay for conquest. I think it's a little bit lackluster for duel. Maybe you'll see her more often than like Chernobog or something now, but I don't think you'll see her much more in general, but we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, boys, peace.